Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Totally won't lie. It's afternoon. I've actually been gone most of the morning. Jamie's been keeping an eye on Miss Oakley. Um, she had surgery Monday. Today actually is Wednesday, so it's looking pretty good. A little bit of redness going on. You can see when she walks, she has a little bit of a hard time moving that foot still. But she's on some pretty good painkillers, and uh, she's at least she's moving around now. Before she was kind of like too many drugs, too many drugs. Hi, baby, how's it going? Yeah. So we got lots of crazy things that happened but right now I have to edit another video so we'll get to the next part of this video shortly so this is where Oakley is having the most trouble still so she has to keep her leg out kind of straight as she lays down oh you did it because of where her stitches are she's having a little bit of a problem laying down but once she gets down she's all right and she is on some pain meds so we're just kind of trying to help her with laying down. I gotta show you guys what uh, Jamie did to her kennel as well. <gasps> she made it on the couch! I'm so proud of you! Her legs looking a little red. Ugh. Hopefully it'll heal up good. Okay, I gotta show you guys the kennel. Look! The door is off the front of the kennel. So Oakley would snag herself on the metal pieces on the door. These are rounded. And she would kind of get freaked out a little bit. Well, since she's got stitches in her leg, we didn't want her to snag. So Jamie actually just managed to take the whole front door off the kennel and it didn't lose any of its stability. So now she can get in and out of it even easier. So far I think that's made her pretty happy. Yeah, for those of you that may be new, Oakley loves her kennel. Like that's her favorite place to be, but because of where her stitches are, she's having a hard time getting in the kennel and then turning around and laying down because of the doorway. So now it's gone. Hopefully that will make things a little bit easier for her. The next thing on the agenda for today was a uh, little tiny problem I have. We have a lot of like pet stuff and like medication and treats and food and things like that. And currently, currently it pretty much all goes right here. Their dog food they're on right now is the Wellness Core Raw Revolution that they have. So I do like a rotation of their food. So that's what they're on right now. And then like I have this thing here, our drop cam. I have all these different like medications and oils and things and this radio that just takes up all the space. So I think I'm going to find something new to put here to, I don't know, make this space a little bit more usable and a place where we can keep all of the dog's stuff. Hey, Jamie. Hey, uh. I'm a little bit shorter than you think. I don't think I can make this jump. It's it's a step, huh? That's a that's a giant leap for mankind. <laughs> Just a normal step. Yeah, oh yeah, I think that's funny. Do you have, that's like, yeah, no. No. That's ridiculous. So, so what are you doing, hon? Yeah, I noticed from Oakley's height down here a little <laughs> bit when you were looking at the steps, that bottom step almost just disappeared. So, I'm gonna extend that step out just a little bit. We noticed, you know, Oakley's got stitches in her leg, and we noticed when she was coming down the steps that she's been trying to jump. She makes the first step, and then she like just jumps and misses the next step we thought it was a couple times i thought it was because uh, i didn't have the light on fast enough for her but i we don't really think that's it like jamie said the angle that she sees the steps plus her eyes aren't as good as they used to be the angle that she sees the steps jamie doesn't think she could actually see that second step like as she was looking to go down she didn't see it so she took one step and jumped so he is fixing the steps or changing the steps i guess you could say so that Oakley hopefully won't miss that bottom step because it's uh, not fun. Well, right now there's no steps, but it's not fun to have her miss a step, especially when she has stitches. <laughs> the, the bummer was is about, I don't know, two months ago or so, I decided uh, I wanted the steps to squeak less. So I took them apart and I put a bunch of them new brad nails all in it. Oh, I didn't even think of that. So now you have to pull them all back out. That, oh, that's, that's fun. That's all right. Yeah. That's not too good. Yeah. Isn't that funny how we change everything in our house because of the dogs? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, we got to make this better for the dogs. Right. I should have, I should have showed you the before because it was, it was kind of noticeable. I mean, from two foot off the ground, when you looked. That bottom step, I mean, was only visible by like this much. So it didn't look like it was even there yeah, to her. Yeah, so to her, it might not have looked like it was even there. So well, hopefully this will help I'm her out a little. Extended a couple more inches. So hopefully it'll help her out. Yeah. I'll show you guys when it's all done. It's almost. 
cool. And thing number two, kind of for the dogs, but I guess it's kind of for me. Check it out. Let me see if I can back up here. So I showed you the before. This is the after. Isn't this thing awesome? It even like matches the floor. It's so cool. It's made out of real wood. Picked it up today. Went with my mom and she got me a really good deal on it. Uh, it was on sale, but mom talked him into giving me an even better deal on it, which was cool. So this is kind of what I wanted. We took the treats, which were normally over by the sink, and they're now all over here. We thought that would be nice, you know, a nice spot for them. I took this and I actually emptied it out, and this is where I'm keeping like the dog's medicine and stuff like that. Their paw print stamps and a few other things are up here. The medicines that I use daily are up here. And when you open this up, I don't have it all full yet, but I have some freeze-dried raw, which this is some of the stuff that I put on top of their food. I got some canned dog food because somebody can be very picky and uh before you guys freak out yes i know avengers had a recall back in february but um none of these were recalled these are all new don't worry checked all the dates so i got some space down here yet not exactly sure what's going to go down there and then i got a drawer up here got some dental treats got some extra treats got some more calming treat stuff and then check this out i got an empty drawer and an empty drawer but we have a lot of excess dog treats and stuff that we keep that we fill this jar up with. So now I have places for all that stuff. I was also thinking about keeping some of the pet house candles in there. Let me show you some of these. So I know I showed you guys this stuff when I got it, but this is those pet house candles and the pet house spray. I will put an affiliate link for all this stuff down in the video description below. This stuff is amazing and it actually works. If you have pets in your house, you know, sometimes like right now Oakley has a little bit of a after surgery smell which sounds really weird but she does she smells like the vet's office um these types of things are things we light and spray in our house to help with those smells so i was thinking about keeping some of the candles either maybe in the drawer or maybe over here with some of like our nature's miracle because I, well, I don't know if that would fit in there actually that might be perfect i think i figured it out I can actually do this so i can keep all of our extra nature's miracle stuff in here as well so basically all of the dog stuff is now gonna go in this. I will also put some affiliate links for the Nature's Miracle stuff. This is a must have for any pet home because I know as well as anybody else that accidents happen. Sometimes accidents happen. Sometimes they have upset stomach tummies and they puke or they poop on the floor. That dog pooped on the floor after her surgery. He did, but we cleaned it all up, didn't we? I know. And we never get mad because sometimes it just happens. When you gotta go, you gotta go. And when you gotta go and you're on a lot of drugs, well, that makes it more difficult. <laughs> the only thing was I measured, and I really thought this would fit right here, but it does stick out a little bit. So I was actually gonna look and see if maybe there was a smaller one, but I don't know. I like that that actually holds all the dog food. Anyway, yeah, that's what we've been doing today since we're kind of stuck home. Because it miss so gully. <laughs> All right, you can go outside now. You had dinner. You want to go back out? The steps are back. Go, Let's Shelby. See. Go so you get out of her way. Ooh, it's a little different for me. Is it? It's not go bad. On. Go ahead. Come there. On, there goes Memphis. There's it. Oh, she yeah. She did it! You did it. She didn't Good jump girl. the step. I don't know if I've ever showed him the tennis ball. We've also put there for the dogs as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ugly little run into it. Now the test will be when she comes back inside. Right, no. Well, I mean, it's down. It's going down here. Let me take the camera and show okay. you guys. Here's the steps, see? Now down at her level, oops, there. So you can see that top, see? The, you can see the top step, but that, that second step was almost invisible. Well, I brought it out as far as I could. So now when she comes up on the steps, she sees more of that bottom step. And you can you can tell i mean they're they're good sized spaced steps they're a little dirty <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm... No. yeah you can tell you can definitely tell that it's out more yeah you can tell from down there that it's out more yeah it looks better from here it does i was just thinking the same thing so we'll Ooh. see oh, right. she comes back in. oh yep it's raining so they want back in yeah, let the fast dogs in first. Here comes the fast dogs. No fast dogs. All right, here she comes. Go ahead. Can you do it? Oh, oh look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. That's Hi. Clean. And since you always stand here and wait anyway for a treat, we've moved our treat jar. All right, let me, let me go to treats. Does Shelby like these ones? Yeah. Okay. Check that out. 
New location for the treats. Oakley's like, wait, I don't understand. Oakley, here. Here, you give her the treat. Here you go, Shelby. Good girl. You get one too, Shelby? Yeah, I get one too. <laughs> hey, that. Treats cool. and everything. <laughs> yeah, I like this. This is a good spot for this. <laughs> I'm happy. All right. We got, let me see. We actually have one other thing besides all that that we did for Oakley. I moved a brighter nightlight out here. The only thing is, is this one doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't turn off when the other lights are on. And I actually just ordered an LED light so it's not hot. So she's got a new light. Remove the kennel door. You are just spoiled, aren't you? <laughs> You're so loved. It's amazing. Oh, and I hung up the stockings. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else is Christmas yet. But I have the stockings hung up. <laughs> hey, we're working on it. Yeah. Figuring that out. So today pretty much turned out to be an all about Oakley type of day. We did all the things for Miss Oakley today. Oh, we're getting ready to go to bed. We gotta turn on your Shiloh nightlight. There we go. Got your Shiloh nightlight on. She'll watch over you so you can see things in the dark. Sound like a plan? <laughs> uh, Memphis and Jamie already went to bed. We're heading to bed. Shelby's like, I'm going to sleep on this bed tonight because it's awesome. All right, you sleep right there. Keep an eye on Oakley. All right, you guys. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. You want to say goodnight to the audience? Are you going to curl up here or are you going to curl up in there? Are you going to lick my hand? So like, I don't know where I'm going to be yet. I haven't figured it out. I'm going to go check on Shelby. <laughs> uh, good night, audience.